So you need to make some quick and dirty cards to whack on the table in a few moments. What should you focus on? Well, you want to aim for speed, aim for something cheap and nasty. You want clarity, form over function here, and you want to save resources. So you want to make a layout that doesn't use too much ink, skip images if you can. If you can test your core idea with just 10 cards instead of 100, go with that. Let me show you some steps you can use to make a custom layout quickly in Dexterous. First of all, you want a visual reference. You can work from a sketch or I've Googled sci-fi card game here and I'm gonna choose one of these to use as a reference image. I'm just gonna set that off to the side and use it to guide me visually. Now I'm ready to create a new layout in Dexterous. So I'll come over here to the layouts tab and under make a new layout, click blank. And now I just wanna choose the layout size. So this is the type of component that you wanna make, a poker card, tarot card, tile, a token, and so on. I just wanna make a poker card, so I'm just gonna click make it so. And now this is the layout editor, and you can see this is my blank card right in front of me. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit to make things clearer. Now I am ready for the next step, which is to add text and image zones to this card. I'm actually gonna skip images because I'm gonna try and prototype this as cleanly and quickly as possible. So I'm gonna create this power, this title, and this text down here. So I'm gonna have three text zones. So this text zone is just an actual field here that I can move around the card. And I'm gonna make it a bit smaller and square in the corner. It does have some default text here, which you can get rid of entirely. I'm just gonna put a number in there dial up the font size a little bit so I can preview roughly what it would look like. Um, I am going to choose a sci-fi font here because it's a sci-fi card that I'm going for. So I'm going to choose maybe Orbitron, something like that. Nice and simple. I'm going to click this text zone. You can see it's over here and I'm actually going to name it. So I'm going to double click there, call it power. And I'm going to create through two more zones. So if you have a zone selected like this, you can hit control D to duplicate it. So that's going to be my title and a, a control D again. This is going to be my description zone down here. It might be the card ability or something like that. So I'm actually just going to make this a bit bigger and I'm going to make the font size a little smaller. I'm going to make this font size a little smaller. And then I'm going to put some backgrounds on for this. I quite like that nice, subtle gray gradient. So I'm just going to go for something similar. I'm going to go to the background here. I'm going to go background gradient. I'll choose maybe a really light gray, get rid of these gradient stops. And I probably will just grab a radial gradient. Yeah, so that's quite nice. I am going to round the corners a little bit. I don't mind the corners being rounded. So I'm going to head to the border. I'm going to give it a solid border here, but instead of a, a color, I might just give it, yeah, I don't mind that yellow. And I'm just going to round the corners a little bit here. So it looks probably a little bit too rounded. You can actually dial up individual corners, for example, if you want to get a similar look to this one over here. So it's that left bottom corner is rounded a little bit more. I quite like the light text against the dark background for the title. So in my title, I'm going to stretch this out and make it a bit bigger. And I'm going to give it a darker background. And in font, I'm going to give it a white colored font, make it a tiny bit smaller. I will make it bold. I'll left align the text as well. You can see that's actually quite close to my power here. I want to give it a bit more breathing room. So I'm actually going to go down to text padding. And text padding is the thing that moves it it's kind of the inner inner spacing, if you like. So I'm going to dial that up a little bit to start this over this way a little bit more. I'll make this a bit thinner. And next, I will give my power a background. I quite like this hexagonal yellow honeycomb looking thing. So I'm going to get a just a nice yellow. I'll go to the shape. So I'll just make it a kind of basic octagon. Now, you're probably noticing that the order here is incorrect. So I want the power to be on top. So this is my zone names over here. I can actually just drag them in this list and higher is on top. So that's now on top. I'm going to move it across. That's a little bit too far. I actually want to move my pixel here so I can hit control and the arrow keys to move just little bits at a time. If I'm actually going to put a title, a bit of a longer word in there so I can see what's going on. My 
title. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. This looks way too small. So I'm going to make it a bit bigger. I'm going to put some more text in. Next, I'm going to name my zone. So I've got the power, which is this, um, this one here. I'm going to call this one the description or ability maybe. And I'm going to call this top one here the title. And this is important because it's these names that I'll use when I'm editing this later on in the component project editor. So I'm going to call name this layout. I'm just going to call it my sci-fi layout and I'm going to hit save and close. Don't worry if your layout looks rough, you can always come back and change it later. Just get something that's roughly functional and head over to your project. So I'm here in a project just to show you how to get there. You can go projects. I went into my fantasy project here. I'm going to create a new component. So that's like a new set of cards or tokens or whatever. And I'm going to connect it to an existing layout, the layout that we literally just made. So that's my sci-fi layout here. And if I go over here, I can see if I zoom in, this is what my default card looks like with this default text in place. I can hit this plus button to add a few more, or I can select a card and hit control D to duplicate. I can double click this tab up here to name this component. So I'll call this my sci-fi characters. And now all that's left is to fill out the card data. So the titles, the abilities, and the power of these cards. So now I've got some basic information on my cards here. I can just click these numbers to dial up the copies of the cards, for example, and then I can export. If I wanted to export all these components in one hit, they're all in the same project, I would hit this button up here. But if I'm just happy to export my sci-fi characters, I can just export this individual component. And that will take me to a screen here where everything's laid out nicely on a page ready for printing, for example. It is a four page by default. You can change that here. And then you can hit export here to print to PDF, make PNG images, or create a tabletop simulator file. If you're making a PDF to print, I recommend printing straight onto A4 200 GSM cardstock and just cutting the cards straight out. If it's your first play test, don't bother with sleeving the cards. You'll probably scrap these cards after a few tests anyway. Remember, the important thing is to get your idea to the table as quickly as possible and test the core gameplay. Is there a spark there? And what could you do next to fan that spark into a flame? Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to make your own custom layout in Dextrous and more importantly, how to get some of your ideas onto the table quickly. Good luck. Happy designing.